Next, Candace Jedwich. You know, she loves the burnt brown bag by Aline. And she made a really cool, it's a canvas burning glue with a little bit of cardboard. Candace, what are you up to? Hi, Heidi. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my studio of Perpetual Mojo. Today's project is very exciting, very colorful, and I think you're going to like it. Sit back and relax. Hold on to your seats because it's all happening right now. I started with a six by six canvas. You can do any size as long as you're doing a little bit at a time when you start the burning. And this is just some leftover cardboard from packing. And I've already cut a design out here and I'll show you how that goes in a minute. The first thing you want to do is, and this is my great big tub o tacky glue, seal your canvas. You can see that this has some gray in it, and that's because I only use this for a burnt brown bag. Work it in real good. You don't want to have your canvas catch on fire. Because that would be a bad thing. You don't have to do the back unless you want to, but you want to make sure and do the sides. It's okay if you have a little too much, you don't want to have so much that it's going to drip. And while you've got this all primed, Go ahead and put your design on. You want to glue both sides. Stick it down on there pretty good. I'm just dipping my fingers in the glue. That's the fastest way. These are just random shaped stripes. On the other pair of canvases I have some curvy stripes. There you go. And the last one. this one over just a little bit. Yeah, like that. And then put your dots on. Okay, I like the way that looks. Now you're going to set it aside to dry. Here's one that's already dry with the wavy lines. The reason that you want to have it dry completely is because these are small pieces of cardboard, you'll end up just tearing them off or pushing them along with your brush if you try to do it while it's still wet. What you do want to try to do is go into the edges of the cardboard as much as you can. You don't have to do it all the way, but again, this is just another way to seal the paper so it doesn't catch fire. Let's get started with our candle. 
if you've never done this before, it is just the coolest thing. You'll want to do small areas at a time. And you want to make sure that the candle, I'm going to try to show you this way, Oops. the flame is actually touching the glue. And the glue does need to be wet. There we go. Okay. So you can see that holding it into the flame begins to burn the glue. And what it will do is bubble and crack. Let's see if I can get it to do that for you. Okay. Like that. It's going to bubble. It's a little harder to do sideways, but you get the idea. So you're going to burn it until it's black. And I have one finished right here. This is what it looks like when you're done burning it. And what you want to do is take off the soot. So you can use a wet cloth or a dry cloth whatever you want to use. All right, that looks wonderful. You will want to clean your hands off before you move on to the powders. I'm all ready to start adding color here. And since I did blue and copper and gold on this one, I'm going to do green and copper and gold. Ooh. Oh, I like that. You can go out onto the sides with this color if you like. It all depends on the look you're going for. Now I'm going to hit it for a minute with the heat gun. And it is going to blow some away. Okay. Looks like it grabbed that color. Take off any of the excess powder. You can seal this too, that would be just fine. And the last little bit of color is gold leaf. Rub and buff. And I'm not going to cover all of the copper with it, but I do want my dots to be gold. I want them to really stand out. Okay, then I'm going to go along the edge and kind of pull it back toward me. Go along the edge. Oh, might need a little more there. Yeah, that's better. I love the way these are going to look together on the wall. And I'll face them each a different way. I'll have four pieces and they will be colorful and rustic and gorgeous. You know I'm all about color, but those canvases would stand on their own with the burnt brown bag treatment. They're just extraordinary and I love experimenting. That's probably one of my favorite subjects to experiment on. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you're inspired to try something like it and that if you do try it, I get to see it. Email me, Candace at CoolToCraft.com, and I'll post it on our website. Thanks a lot for having me, Heidi. Stay crafty, my friends.